Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? Evan from High Media here. And uh, so I want to talk to you guys about The Princess Diaries. I watched The Princess Diaries. I did a review for them on I Can't Shut Up Unless You Tell Me To not too long ago. And I there was something that kind of like bugged me. If Genovia was a real place, I would question where in the world would it be? You know, like, this is not an important question, and you know, but I, I'm, I'm kind of vaguely interested because there's a lot of cultural notes and drops in both movies that I thought was interesting. Well, you know, thankfully for me, even though I watched The Princess Diaries 1 and Princess Diaries 2, I was not the first person to sit back and learn to figure out where the country of Genovia exists, uh, if it would in a real world, and if it was based off a real place. So I'm gonna let this chuckle fuck on TikTok uh, go. Seen Princess Diaries two before I so I had never seen Princess Diaries two before I watched it with my girlfriend the other day. Amazing movie, can't recommend it enough. But something bothered me throughout. Just where is Genovia? I'd been assuming it was somewhere in the Low Countries, Luxembourg style, but that doesn't jive with many of the descriptions given. So I did some thinking and weighed all of the evidence. Genovia is described as having both mountains and access to the ocean while still being a really tiny nation, so it has to be somewhere where mountains and water are in close proximity. Though many characters have British accents, I would attribute this to local schools teaching British English, which is standard in Europe. Other accents are varied, but many seem to be German-sounding or vaguely Eastern European. It would make sense if Genovia was located close to the German-speaking countries then, something that's backed up by the seemingly high relevance of one of Mia's suitors, a Count of Austria. Either that, or it's in near the Slavic regions. The real puzzler is the artwork and architecture, however. There's a scene in which Mia finds a secret passage in an old chapel, the walls of which are decorated in Byzantine-style fresco mosaic. So Genovia has to be somewhere that was part of the Eastern Roman Empire, has both mountains and beaches, and has a bit of Germanic or Slavic language influence. There is only one country I can think of that meets all of these criteria, Slovenia. It has both the Alps and the Mediterranean. It's directly south of Austria, but is primarily Slavic, and it was a part of the Roman Empire up until the 4th or 5th centuries AD when it was contested between the Ostrogothic Kingdom and the Byzantine Empire. So there you go. Slovenia is Genovia. The answer to a question I don't think anyone but me has asked. Dave? So, um... There's a lot of good points made in that video, but the ultimate conclusion is wrong, and I'm going to explain why. So, because this person did not watch The Princess Diaries 1, he's missing out on some pretty important cultural contexts. Namely, the notion that A... Oh, wait, the damn button doesn't work. A, Genovia's primary, most popular dessert and, and which is a culturally traditional dessert that they eat, that even royals eat and, 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 and dignitaries eat at functions, is pears and cheese. Now, Slovenia does have a history of using Topeka pears, but these are, unlike what are shown in the show, Topeka pears from Slovenia are dried. They are um, usually also ground into flour. They are not often portrayed as being eaten uh fresh we also have the issue of location slovenia is, a, is 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 nestled in the adriatic sea very far away from spain you must be wondering evan why are we talking about spain because in the first movie uh uh the grandma says that you need really tells uh the being tells uh, again half of his character you need to learn how to salsa dance because or whatever because um spain is one of our closest allies they are also said it's also said in the first movie that uh genovia uh gained its um it's a it's, it's freedom via uh a fight for for like a battle for freedom Meaning they had a revolution. They, they had a revolution where they removed themselves from a, a prior power. So, with that knowledge in mind, um, I have an act of what actually it could be. So, on top of the fact well, that shit, that's a hell of a on top of the fact that pears are a gigantic aspect of you know like are are, are like there are a cultural cuisine. 
the fact that Slovenia is so far away. Well, the question is, and that we need to, it needs to be in a place that has proximity to the sea and to the mountains. That means that there's only one place that that uh, that um, Genovia could be, and that is a province out de Pontazur. I completely butcher that, but I don't respect the French, so whatever. This is a uh, this is a prefecture of France that uh, is very well known for its pears. Is if you, and if we look at the topologic map, is actually you know in this little fertile crescent here. So they have proximity to both the rocky sea, like rocky beaches and seas, as well as mountains. This and to explain the Byzantine connection and all of the old work and stuff of that nature, Monaco is a is a big trading hub. Huge, like, and 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 proximity wise, Venice, not Venice. Um, what was it? Um, I don't know. Uh, but no, not Venice. Uh, but um, all of the um, it, look at its proximity to both to both Italy as well as it's on the fucking you know gate to the Mediterranean. Like this, this like during the time of the Byzantine Empire was a time of colossal trade as well. So this them be hugging this region will would allow them to get access to you know Eastern European things, which have been, been viewed as by royalty in Genovia as you know very pretty and decadent and all that and wondrous and wild. So so no, Genovia is not. Slovenia, it is this part of France. I would also wager that the Germanic esque sounding of it was probably mistaken for Greek, because this entire region of France that we're looking at is has heavy Greco Roman influence throughout the year, throughout like the history of France. So yeah. On that note, uh, the country of Genovia is not Slovenia. It is this fucking thing that I cannot pronounce. Province Alps Conte de Azur. Comet Azur? Province Alps Conte uh, Comet Azur. I want to play Elden. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hibmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hibmedia.gg/10. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.